It's interesting you mentioned the young guys from 07 as well, because Franz Steyn looks mm. as if he has just rejuvenated his career with, with the Sharks. I mean, where has this form returned from? I think there's a couple of factors. I think Franz, he's got married and he's had a baby. You know, I think he spent some time in Paris on his own and he, he, he learned to grow up. And I think Jake's influence would have said to him, look, Franz, everybody knows how good you are as a player, but you need to shed a bit of weight, you need to start getting fit again, and you need to start really putting it up, up your hand to become a Springbok contender. Because there isn't actually really a place in the Springbok team for him, with Mornay Stane and Pat Lambie holding the 10 jersey, and obviously Jean de Villiers a shoe-in for the 12 jersey. But here you can just see what he can do. I mean, he, this is at the coast, guys. You must remember, this is the seas. 12 yeah. metres away. And he just kicked the ball out of, his, out of hand 60 yeah. metres there. And the fascinating thing you say about that is how he gets fit. I didn't, when the VT started running, I thought, that's not Francois Stein. Yeah. Yeah. It's a stone and a half light in the bloke yeah. I remember yeah. playing out in Paris. And, and that makes a huge difference. And we, knew to how you he had that, we knew he had that boot. We knew he had those ba the basic elements to his game. But he did lose his way. He lost his path a little bit in Paris. He you know, put on a lot of size. He still probably could do a drop in a few. But, you know, if he gets down to his fighting weight again, the guy's got a serious talent. And to have that howitzer of a boot yeah. just yeah. makes such a difference.